Hello everyone, we have an exponential equation on the board. 4 to the power x plus 16 to the power x equals 4160. And we're looking for the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate. Thank you very much. And uh, now let's start solving the equation. Now, uh, first step to do in this kind of uh, equation where you have two terms, uh, both with uh, exponential form, uh, both in exponential form. The right side is a constant. Uh, first step will be to get a common base as much as possible. Convert this means convert this base 16 to base 4. All right, so let's do that. Here, I've just written the equation again. Fourth power x plus 16 power x equals 4,160. So we convert, uh, we change the base uh, and follow the base as 4 right in the first uh, term. So it is now 4 to the power x plus 16 could be written the same way as 4 squared. So that is 4 is squared power x equals 4160. And from here, this could be written the same way as 4 power x plus 4 to power x e squared equals 4160. So from here, arranging the terms of the equation and putting uh, the constant to the left. So we're moving that constant at the same time. So we have here now 4 power x e squared plus 4 to the power x minus 4160 equals 0 and from here if you notice this is now transformed into a quadratic equation since we have the same power right there now let's uh, introduce a new variable to to replace 4 to the power x and that variable will be well, let's uh, let put let uh, let's say y y equals 4 to the power x Substitute that in place of 4 power x. Okay, so the equation now becomes y squared plus y minus 4160 equals 0. And from here, if you notice, the, uh, the middle term is positive uh, y, and we're replacing this uh, positive y into. Uh, the factors of 4160 that is 64 and 65 so there will be 64y and 65y and since this is considered 1y so this means uh, this bigger one is 65 so this carrier carries positive sign and 64 carries a negative sign and this is the replacement of that positive y right there middle Middle term. So the equation now becomes y squared minus 64y plus 65y minus 4160 equals 0. And uh, you might be wondering how did I arrive or how did I get this factor 64 and 65? For 4160, we'll show that to you and list that. So, just start writing that 4160. So, we'll be dividing uh, by 2 since this is divisible by 2, it ends in 0. So, to get the factors, you start from dividing by 2, and we keep going until uh, the point that we cannot divide anymore by 2. So, in here now, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 1 divided by 2 is 0, and now 16 divided by 2 is 8, and uh, 0 right there. But by 2 again, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, then 0, then uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then 0. Then divided by 2 again, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and that's 0 again, divided by 2 again, 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, and that's 0, divided by 2 again, so that's 2 divided by 2 is 1, 
and 6 divided by 2 is 3 and that's 0 not writing and divide by 2 again so 13 divided by 2 is 6 10 divided by 2 is 5 and now since this is ending in 5 we cannot divide by 2 anymore so we use 5 then divide by 5 6 divided by 5 is 1 15 divided by 5 is 3 so that's the end factor 4160 so if you notice if I combine this one right here 13 by 5 multiply together and this one right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 that means 2 to the power of 6 and then 13 here 13 times 5 and 2 to the 6 so these are the factors and 2 to the 6 is this is 64 and 13 times 5 is 65 so how I arrived at those factors 64 and 65 now let's go back to our equation we take a look at the, our equation that is now factor here common common on both terms is y and here common here is 65 since we have those factors 64 and 65 right there okay so factor of y on this part that's y times y minus 64 plus factoring out 65 on these uh, two terms that's 65 times the quantity y minus uh, factoring of 65 so we'll be left out with 64 so that is 64 equals 0 further simplify this is now y and 65 so y plus 65 times the quantity y minus 64 this one right here and that one right there equals 0 now we have two binomial factors we are both now equating to 0 so that is y plus 65 equals 0 and the other side is y minus 64 equals 0 and simplify this left side y is equal to negative 65 and here y is equal to positive 64 so we have two values of y and from here if we use this value right here so since y is a substituted value for 4 to the power of x from y is 4 to the power of x substituting value of 64 to that 64 so that is 4 to the power of x is equal to 64 and so for the value of x we we use the natural logarithm or a common logarithm doesn't matter so I prefer doing a uh, common logarithm so that is now so log of 4 power x equals log of 64 and uh, based on the formula of logarithm we bring down the exponent to the front as coefficient now so that is now x log of 4 equals log of 64 so from here x is log of 64 divided by log of, of 4 so that's the answer for the value of x and on the other side we take this negative negative uh, value of y so let's do it over here so y is negative 65 is equal to 4 to the power of x so 4 to the power of x is equal to negative 65. Now since uh, this side of the equation is positive and the right side is negative, if we take the, uh, the, ro the root going to solve for the value of x over here, that will be on the, the result will be on a complex number. So that's on imaginary numbers. So that's uh, away from the real, real solution of the value of x. So now we're going to a complex numbers for the value of x. So this is that. So in here, we're using the laws of natural logarithm. That is ln of 4x is equal to ln of negative 65. Simplify the equation. Now the exponent goes down as coefficient on the front. So this is now x 
ln of 4 equals ln of negative 65 and uh, simplify further so x now becomes ln of negative 65 divided by ln of 4 and this could be written the same way as so this 65 right here negative 65 could be written the same way as negative 1 times positive 65 so we'll be doing that on here so this is now ln of negative 1 times positive 65 divided by ln of 4 so the value of x and from here is negative 1 right there and this is uh, property of uh, natural logarithm this is the product rule right here so this is now ln of negative 1 plus ln of 65 divided by ln of 4 and we get this uh, part right here ln negative 1 so from here the value of x ln of negative 1 to be i times pi then plus ln of 65 divided by ln of 4 here now so this is the value of x so this is just the principal value principal value of x so this simply means that there are more values that means infinite values the other infinite values of x is equal to we're replacing this value right here pi i to to 2m plus 1 times the quantity pi and i then plus ln of 65 divided by ln of 4 where if you know this m right here or you can put any letter you can put n you can can put k or m here now is uh, is any integer the other infinite value of x in complex numbers this where m represents infinite values now let's go back to the uh, real value of x log of 64 divided by log of 4 is equal to exactly 3 all right and so that's all for now and uh, for those new to my channel or for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet uh, i would appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos all well, you guys have a great day thank you for watching i'll see you in the next videos bye